When I was in middle school, it started bothering me that I had spaces between my teeth. I want to fix my teeth. I want to have a really nice smile. I thought for a long time that I wanted braces and I was set on getting braces. So I went and checked and uh, talked to the people and I was all the way to the point where I was about to get the braces and I talked to one of my friends before I was going to go in and get everything and, and he's like, you might want to get a second opinion. So I thought about it. and He had contacted me because he wanted another opinion about um, getting his teeth to look better. He first looked at me and said, you know, you got nice teeth, you got straight teeth, so what's your goal? He had been given uh, um, some information about wearing braces to correct his, his problem. But yeah, I want braces to just to fill in the gaps. He says, so your only goal is to fill in the gaps? And I told him, yes, that's all I want to do is just fill in the gaps. And he told me... Sometimes orthodontia really doesn't um, provide the needs or meet the needs of the patient. And I was like, really? And uh, he said, yeah, there are other options. That he could not use orthodontia and still accomplish the look that we feel like would be very, very acceptable in the final run and, um, and not have to wear braces. He showed me some pictures and some mock-ups and stuff. And he took my pictures and, you know, two weeks later, he was able to show me on the big screen, like, how I would look. And I was blown away with what I saw. I thought, you know, finally, wow, that's really, really, really incredible. So using a PowerPoint presentation then gives me the chance to formulate in my own mind what I think is best, but to also show the patient what I think. I finally decided to get it, and tomorrow I will be getting the uh, veneers put on. So today's my last day to, to have spaces in my teeth and I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time. So tomorrow I'll go in and, you know, hopefully the outcome will be something worth smiling about. Okay, this is the last time that I will have these gaps. I'm about to go in, so I'm sitting here just waiting. Uh, I'm really excited. So, last time you'll see this smile. And indeed, the day had arrived. The day that I had been anticipating for many years was finally here. And within just a few hours, what seemed to be only a dream was becoming reality. And the gaps were closing. I continued to update my progress. And finally, the job was now complete. And now, for the first time, I would see myself without the gaps. The results were definitely more than I could have ever imagined. But um, this is, is an illustration to help you understand that uh, just like anything, there's often more than one way to accomplish the end. It's important to understand that there are multiple ways of, of accomplishing the end. But in this case, um, I think we'll let the, uh, the results speak for themselves. Okay. Now, the best way to do this is not to start here, okay. but to start at arm's length. Okay. Because okay. that's the way people are going to see you. And then you can look all you want to up close. All right, here we go. Let's so start at arm's length? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>